Okay, we're at 13 North Franklin, and here's the house that I bought. Here's the house that I have for sale that Jack Rohde bought and said he would fix it all up. Well, let me just show you some of the things, fixings that he did. Come on and come on inside with me. Because I tell you what, if you do business with Jack Rohde, you're in trouble big time. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. <coughs> so, here's what we've got in the living room. Here's the problems. Of course, he knew that I wasn't going to be in Illinois, Paint in Illinois to be specific. And we've got, oh my gosh, he put in wonderful carpet. It's real pretty. The problem is it's coming away from the wall. And so, because Mr. Jack Rohde, when he sold me the house, never said a word about the roof, and I asked a million times, because I can't believe that a re somebody who would redo a house wouldn't start with the roof. Would you think they'd start with the roof and the foundation and then go in between? Well, he started in between and fixed everything up real nice and pretty. The problem is, once the roof wasn't fixed, the rest of the house began to have problems because it leaked. And even though he found me somebody to rent and buy the house, they moved out within less than six months because guess what? The roof leaked. And it leaked and leaked and leaked. And when I called Mr. Jack Rohde and said, Jack, you didn't say a word about the roof. Guess what Jack Rohde did? Absolutely nothing. And then he said to me, MGM, that roof was fine. It must have been the wind that blew it. Well, honey, I, this, is, this is the kind of work I'm showing you right now. This is in the living room. Here is the work that Jack Rohde did. Who would put this not into the wall? It's amazing to me that you would... I've never seen this in all my years. I live in Arizona, and I know that we're a little different down there, but I never saw anybody that would put in a register and just leave the wire hanging interesting but he knew i wasn't gonna be here so he could do what he really wanted so here's the kitchen and look at how pretty it is until you look up here and look what the rain did to the ceiling because mr jack Rohde of jmz homes forgot about the roof amazing so we've got a house that looks kind of pretty but the floor is coming away, the ceiling is completely done, and wait till you sew the roof. You're going to love that. This is the house in Pena, and of course this is the view that Jack Rohde from JMZ Home showed me. So it looks like the roof looks pretty darn good from here, but then you just kind of walk back and let me show you. I'll show you on the side. Here's the side of the house in, in Pena. And still, this is still what Jack Rohde from JMZ Homes showed me. He kept saying, you know, oh, the roof is fine, when I kept asking, how's the roof? But here's where the problem comes in, because here's where it flattens out in the back. He didn't show me this part. And as you can see, it's problematic right from the get-go. And then if you really keep walking back, you can even see, and of course now I have had to have it tarped because it leaks so badly that the people that he put in the house, and this is right over the kitchen area, so the entire kitchen has to be redone, the whole ceiling has to be redone because it leaks so badly and he would do nothing. He said it wasn't his fault, that it must have been some wind that had done this. This is because the roof was in such bad shape and he didn't even show it to me. When I continued to ask him, he said, everything was just fine and that that was no problem. That the roof shingles, even though it had been re-shingled in a couple of flaky places, that it was just like that. Oh, what a mess. Shame on you, Jack Rohde of JMZ Homes.